In this video we are going to talk about top 8 worst ways to die. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to Adify for future updates. There are over a million different ways that a human being can pass away, but ultimately, there is only one way for each of us to go. While some people pass away peacefully in their sleep, others pass away even before they are aware that they are dead, and still others are aware that they are dead for a significant amount of time before they actually pass away. Have you ever considered which of all these is the most horrible way to meet your end? Some people consider passing away at a young age to be among the worst possible ways to go. However, what we are looking for here is not necessarily someone who is young or old who is surrounded by people who are important to their lives. A significant number of people have chosen to end their own lives in a way that is sanctioned by the law in certain nations, typically by taking one or more of the drugs that are designated for use in this manner. Here are some of the most horrible ways to pass away. Number 8. Passing away from starvation. There are a lot of people who have the misconception that it is extremely difficult for people to pass away from starvation, however, there are a lot of people who are starving to death, most especially in places where there are wars and famines. The fact that you will be able to watch yourself pass away from day to day is what makes this situation so terrible for you. After it has finished consuming the fats that have been stored in your body, your body will move on to consuming the muscles in your body, and you will observe that you are losing muscle mass as a result. You will experience a loss of vitamins, and your body will become more susceptible to many diseases, additionally, infections may develop. As the disease progresses to its final stages, it is possible that you will no longer experience hunger because you will be too weak and possibly ill. Number 7. Being Entombed Alive. This phenomenon, which can also be referred to as live burial or premature burial, describes situations in which living humans or animals are buried either by accident or on purpose before they have passed away. There are a lot of people who have a fear of being buried alive, and I don't see any reason why anyone should fault them for having this fear because it is one of the worst ways to die, right up there with being burned alive and having your body dismembered. There are many potential explanations for why someone would perish in this manner, but the most common one is a lack of oxygen in the body. If, on the other hand, a person is able to obtain air, then the factors that might cause their death are starvation, dehydration, or other factors. Number 6. Dehydration. Water is something that a lot of people are able to take for granted because they have never really been in a situation where they require it to survive. People continue to believe that water is the source of life despite the fact that the human body is composed of 60% water. This is one cliché that should never have become one in the first place. The circulation of blood through the body depends on adequate hydration in order to function properly. If a person's level of dehydration continues to rise, the result is that their cells will start to shrink because their body will begin to extract water from them in an effort to maintain normal blood pressure. Because the cells in your brain would also supply the water for the other cells, your brain will start to shrink as well. The final effect will be a severe headache, followed by confusion, coma, and eventually death. Number 5. Electric Chair. The electric chair is another one of the more heinous methods of execution. Is it really acceptable for just one person to get electrocuted and die? Wrong. In point of fact, what winds up taking place is that a person actually becomes cooked before passing away completely. In the case of electrocution, the victim will suffer burns from the inside out, in contrast to the process of burning, in which the victim will be cooked from the outside in. This is a very unpleasant way to meet one's maker because it ruptures one's vital organs, and in some cases, it even causes one's eyes to fall out. The majority of the time, when people are being cooked, it will happen while they are still conscious. Number 4. Perishing from the cold. Coming in a close second to being burned to death is freezing to death. The fact that the body will, at first, do what it does in every other situation and try to adjust as the temperature continues to drop is what makes this phenomenon so extremely bizarre. The body will work hard to keep producing heat, but eventually it will be unable to keep up with the demand, at which point the muscles will become rigid. Because of this, the performance of the body's organs, including the brain, will soon be negatively impacted, and their functions will rapidly decline as a result of the severely reduced blood supply. The brain will also give in, and the thought process will become slowed down or even be interrupted. 
Those who are fortunate enough will pass out before giving in completely, and this will be the final stage of the process. Number 3. Burning. Burning to death is a particularly precarious scenario and unquestionably ranks among the worst possible ways to pass away, regardless of whether one is perishing in a burning house, a burning car, a crisis, or any other circumstance. It's possible that individual cases will vary greatly depending on the circumstances. For some, it is a form of jungle justice roasting, and for others, it is just another example of the insanity that stems from the pure evil and wickedness that permeates the human heart. If someone is unfortunate enough to be trapped inside a burning house, the toxic smoke is what will eventually take their life. On the other hand, the fume is the primary factor that, in most cases, prevents a large number of people from escaping. The most unfortunate aspect of passing away in a fire is that the person will be able to observe themselves while they are being cooked and may even be able to smell their own bodies before passing away. Number 2. Crucifixion. In case you were curious about the location of the crucifixion, you are looking at its Golgotha right now. Because it was the means by which Jesus Christ was put to death, the crucifixion is a central tenet of the Christian faith. In this manner of being put to death, a person is nailed to a cross, either upright or in an inverted position, or in some other manner. After being crucified, a person will start to lose blood, but they will still try their best to cling to the cross using their own strength as support. However, in a short amount of time, the strength will give out, and the weight will be placed on the hands, legs, and feet. Because of this, you will make an effort to keep breathing, which will cause one to suffocate for a period of time that could range from hours to days before they finally pass away. There are some people who choose to hasten their deaths by having their hands and feet amputated. Number 1. Scathism. It's fortunate that this is an extremely rare occurrence because it might end up being the worst thing that can happen to someone. In the past, the Persians engaged in a practice that involved torturing someone to death. This practice was also known as boats. The person who is going to be executed will have their heads and legs cut off while they are tied between two boats or a tree trunk. Next, they are given an excessive amount of milk and honey to the point where their bodies can no longer process it and their bowels collapse as a result. The next step is to apply additional milk and honey to their sensitive areas, such as their nose, ears, eyes, and even their genitals, in the hopes that it will entice insects like bees. After this, they are either exposed to the sunlight for a period of time or made to float on water. They consume the same thing day in and day out in order to prevent them from starving to death. It's possible that maggots or other insects, like ants, will finish them off if bees or termites don't get there first. In certain circumstances, the interior is consumed first. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.